Over the years, I've been lucky enough to step into the Today Show kitchen and watch the best chefs from around the world teach us some incredible recipes. And then we had made that pesto, which was, oh, exactly. darn. That's you know, I almost got that out of this one clean. Cool. Turn it down. <laughs> oh, my God. I had one job. None of which I've mastered because, well, I actually don't know the first thing about how to cook. But I'm putting those days behind me for good. Today, executive chef Aisha Nurjaya is here to help me test my culinary prowess and step it up a notch. We're going to make a Mediterranean-inspired mezzi feast, including my favorite chicken shawarma with a tangy white sauce and homemade hummus, plus a few special favorites from her show-stopping restaurants, Shuka and Shuket. I'm a little nervous, a little intimidated, but mostly just so excited to try. So let's get started. Chef Aisha. You know, oh, I am your super fan. And I appreciate that. And now you have heard that I don't know how to cook anything, right? I've heard that, but I want to see it for myself. Let's get started. Shook okay, perfect. Shawarma. Well, let's cheers first. Oh. I have a drink here. Oh, where's my... Oh, what is this This fancy is a gazo. So this is like basically a fruit juice that's topped with a little bit of seltzer. Mm. And some herbs. That is delicious. So there's some blood orange in here, some cara cara, a touch of grapefruit and seltzer. If we were feeling like getting a little litty, you could have put a little tequila. I could see a little something, a little something <laughs> extra in there, but I've got it. I've, we've got knives. I have to stay sober. We're for gonna this. stay focused right now. Okay. Okay. So let me look at the recipe. I'm sure. Because I'm a new cook, I get obsessed about the All recipe. Right. But I have a plan. Our plan for today is start the chicken shawarma, make and mix the white sauce, prepare the hummus, create a pantry salad, prepare the toppings for the chicken shawarma, and serve and eat. We're gonna start with the marinade first. Okay. Okay? So right to your left, you have some mm -hmm. lemon juice. Yes. We're gonna put that right in here. Okay. And then we're gonna use some garlic paste. Now okay. this garlic paste, I'm gonna hand yeah. this to you. Now this is one, I'm already scared. Garlic paste. Well, Don't first of all, I gotta open it. Okay. But I'm gonna oh, show you is. something. We're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the spoon and kind of coat it with this. Oh, you're like basically greasing your- Exactly. Wow, that is so smart. Right, so if Cooking <laughs> show over, this is incredible. <laughs> this is revolutionary. Would be great if you added a little bit of that olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. How all, much? All of it. It's like baking, where they tell you oh. like dry ingredients versus wet ingredients. Yes, you okay. want to kind of put the, either all the dry in first mm -hmm. or the wet. I How like much to do whisking? the whisking? No, that's fine. As long as it's combined. But right now we're going to add a little bit of our spice blend. You have one tablespoon of black pepper. Mm -hmm. This is cinnamon. Four. Okay. So right this now is, that was paprika. This is cumin. Cumin. And this okay. is my favorite. Okay. It's the color of my shirt. It is. What is this? This is turmeric. I was going to guess that. Oh, I love it. So this it. is really going to give that earthy flavor to the shawarma mm -hmm. and also that beautiful color. So we're going to whisk that together. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to recognize Look how beautiful this marinade. This is. I know. All right, perfect. All right, so this looks beautiful. Okay. And now we're going to do the onion. So okay, wait, I know how to do this. Okay. What so you want to do is, at this point, you can cut the little piece off at the end. Here. Okay, okay. Okay. This is off. Yes. And then you kind of want to follow the curvature of the onion with your knife. So we're not going to slice straight down. We're going to slice like this, a little bit on an angle, if you will. Yes, perfect. Like that? Yep. Perfect. Okay. There you go. Okay. But now that's done. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. So we're going to put that in there. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mix this together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you mind grabbing the chicken. So right now we're going to use chicken thighs okay. and I love chicken thighs because I find them to be super forgiving. Yes. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to dump the chicken oh, right into our thing. You're a wild woman. Because we don't need all of this paper. Okay. It's like Christmas. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Christmas. Okay. So I'm going to cut this first so I can show you. You notice my, my hand is like this, mm -hmm. like okay. doing a C and then you're going up and down, slicing right through. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Good. Is it like okay. beautiful? Is it? Yes. Okay. It's hard to do that knuckle thing. I know yeah. you're supposed to. You have to practice it. Yours looks like it's easy to cut and then when I do it I'm like sawing like I'm Paul Bunyan in the forest. You Maybe to, I just need to be more confident. Yes, you have Ooh. to be easy on yourself in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have one more there. Okay, here we go. Right. Okay. Done. Now, your best, we have beautiful kitchen tools here, mm -hmm. but your best kitchen tool are going to be your hands. Oh. So you're going to get right in there. Ooh, and I like it with the gloves because then I just don't feel it. all gross. Right. Mm -hmm. Hello. So you want to make sure that each crevice of those chicken thighs, yeah. remember the parts that we saw that were open, like where the bone was? Yes. That all that marinade gets in okay, there. Okay, so I really want to get in there. Exactly. Okay. These thighs have the life. A full yeah, massage kidding. here. Look at this. They're living this their best life. treatment. It yeah. looks beautiful. So we're gonna have you put that in the refrigerator. Okay, I'm gonna cover and it and have, put it in. Yes, and I have one in there if you don't mind grabbing it that oh, has yeah. been marinated already. Okay. I'll make some room for you. Perfect. 
48 hours later, 48 through hours the magic later. of television. Da, 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 da. So let's uncover this. So this is made. No, what if you really didn't have 48 hours or you're a bad planner? Like, I mean, what's you the could bare do, minimum? You could do it for four hours. You could. Really? But I can't guarantee you that that really deep flavor. Got it. That's the only thing. Fair enough. So if you smell this, you can smell all that hard work that you mm. did with the garlic. Delicious. And yes. I'm going to hand you the sheet tray. So the key here is what we want to do is make sure that we put this on the sheet tray, but we give it enough space that the heat is hitting it so we're not overcrowding it. Okay. Why don't so I just help you out by kind of like doing a little bit of the dump mess oh, here. is that all right? Yep. Oh, okay. And then you are going to use your tongs spread to okay. spread them out, yeah, right? right. But like, does each guy like... have to live in his own little world? No, nah, they just have to have a little space around them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, I think Perfect. so. Okay. So we'll walk this over to the oven. Now, does the rack position matter in this? As long as it's in the, it's, as long as it's, they're not on the same shelf, you'll mm -hmm. be okay. Okay. So I'll go here. Okay. okay. So we're gonna put that in there. Chicken shawarma is in the oven. But it's not a good shawarma unless you have this beautiful white sauce. You have to have the white sauce. So what is it? So have you ever eaten like out of a cart, a halal cart? Yeah. And you get like chicken over rice mm -hmm. and the guy says white sauce, hot sauce, and you like double white sauce? Yes. This is really where this recipe was born. Okay. It is now like the ranch of the kitchen. <laughs> Ah. Every, they put it on shawarma, family meal. I've seen it go on pasta. I mean, they take it to a French place. French fries? I mean, that's the best. Yes. That's the best application, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take some of the technique that we learned in the first mm -hmm. about the wet and the dry. Yes. And we're going to start this. So Stealing to your, your left, <laughs> okay. you have um, some creme fraiche. This is mayo. I recognize okay. that. Okay. We have mayo. Cup of mayonnaise. And then in your next container, we're going to have the yogurt. I like to use Greek yogurt because I like the thickness of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gives the sauce like a nice body. Okay. So okay. you have lemon juice there. Yeah. To your lemon left. Lemon juice. To your lemon okay. juice. Okay. And then the next thing you're gonna do is gonna grate that garlic clove on the microplane. Oh, this is have scary. Have you done that before? I have, and I have to say these things are scary. The reason why you feel uncomfortable is probably because you don't want to nick your finger. Because I have nicked my finger. So what you would do is put on a glove. Okay, so, so I'm gonna put that. the whole thing. Three quarters of it. It's an extra large clove we, I chose just so that you wouldn't feel. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, it's so too scary. Close. Like, am I am I doing like this? You are. Back Can I just forth? show you something though? Yeah. It, you have to be in a place where you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. So this, I don't rest it on here, yeah. this oh. at a point, and then if you do this, oh, you have a lot better. of space between you and the end. So you could kind of oh, that's a better just do way it to like do three it. or yeah. four times. I gotta tell you, this gives me a little anxiety. So tap it three or four times. Oh. And let's turn it around. Should be all good. And that is perfect. One teaspoon sherry vinegar. Okay. Now if you don't have sherry vinegar, red wine vinegar will do. One time when I was in high school, my mother said to me, Savannah, did you and your girlfriends drink my sherry wine, cooking wine? And I was like, no. But then I thought to myself, huh, would that work? <laughs> Perfect. Mm. Okay. And we're going to add the dry spices now. Oh. Oh, there they are. Okay, see, I missed it. I'd have been like, and we're done. White sauce over. Almost, no, almost. Okay. So we have black pepper, a mm -hmm. half a teaspoon. Okay. The next is our garlic powder. And here we have onion powder. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon onion powder. Onion powder and garlic powder are those two spices in, in your pantry mm -hmm. that will always get you out of trouble. Okay. If you ever need like a quick marinade and you yeah. don't know, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and okay. olive oil do the trick. Like, to, like they cover all the sins. Huh? All the sins. Okay. There we go. That's okay. Okay. Good. Okay. And Did then I we have our salt. All? No salt. How much salt? One, one, one half, half teaspoon. teaspoon salt. Okay. How would you tell if this is good or not? I learned something. And what was you it? You must taste it. And here, <gasps> I present you with your magic tasting spoon box. I just love this. May I? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. And I'm going to taste, taste it, it too. And what we're tasting for is that all of these key players mm. are in harmony together. I mean, sprinkle my ashes with this. It you is did a great so job. good. Do you think now it's you good? Can, it's delicious. I think it's perfect. And now you can understand <clears throat> why my kitchen uses it on everything. I wouldn't change one thing. So let's put this in the bowl that we're going to serve it in because oh, it's okay. one less step that we have to do later. Oh, smart. Okay. Maybe I'll get you another spoon. Oh, you got it? I'll do it like this. Okay. And the key when you do it like this mm -hmm. is just keep pouring it right in the middle. Oh, okay. It'll make a little beautiful mound. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Yes, it's perfect. It looks delicious. I get obsessive about clean plate club here. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put this in the refrigerator. Has anyone ever licked the bowl? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, this is also good with crudite. Oh, so if I was cooking, yes. I would leave this dirty bowl right here. Yeah. It's not chicken. We're okay. Yes. We'll have a little snack. So let's get this in the refrigerator. we cover and refrigerate. Perfect. Aisha, ask and you as shall prom receive. As promised, we, ha we have a little bit of uh, celery sticks okay, here. let's just try and it this, out. We're just going to have a little snack. I mean, we deserve it after all this oh cooking. Oh, my gosh, we do. Can I double dip on my side? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's so good. Have I mentioned how good it is for our next trick? 
Homemade hummus. Two words I never thought I'd utter. Why should I make it when I can go to the store? You could always customize it to how you want it. If you love garlic, if you like smoked paprika, if you want to keep it super plain. So we're going to show you a plain hummus. Okay. And then we're going to doctor it up mm -hmm. as you like. I heard through the grapevine that the machine we're going to use is something that you're not a big fan of. Don't say the food processor. I'm going to have to. It's like you're a home alone moment with the big furnace in the basement. I have food processor okay. fear. We're yes. going to show you exactly that, that how, it, how unintimidating it is. Okay. okay. So let's grab the food processor. First of all, it weighs 600 pounds. It does. First of all, this machine is built for safety. So we're going to open the blades mm -hmm. here. Okay. And then we have all of these uh, accoutrements, if you will. No. See, so I'm this is, to get cut. You always want to kind of assertively take it out and hold it by its edges, because this is very, very sharp. Yeah. This is the grater. This is what you would want to do if you were trying to make coleslaw. And this is the blade. So this slices things in discs. Okay. So if you had zucchini. Cabbage would be good in here, What about too. potatoes? I hate slicing potatoes. Potatoes would be perfect. Okay. okay, so that's this. And then it comes with this nice microphone. You could sing karaoke <laughs> while you're making it. But that's really for the attachments, and we're not going to use that right now. Okay? And this is the blade. How do we choose this one? Because this is the one that's going to puree. Oh. So here we have right, chickpeas. Yes. So we're going to throw them in here. Them one, two. Okay. Four cups cooked chickpeas. One half cup tahini paste. So you're going to take oh, that, that with, your small, with your small little uh, spatula. Mm -hmm. Because you want to get every uh, oh, single little Maybe morsel of that out. Maybe it is a little piece. It could work with it's, this. It's viscous. Yeah. Okay. That's okay, that. Okay, so your tahini is in. Mm -hmm. And then we have our lemon juice. One quarter cup lemon juice. Right. Okay, Rotate. olive oil. Half cup olive oil. Okay, you can put that in there. Perfect. And then you have salt. Kosher salt. Now, this is one of those... Yes. How much? You guys, what you, you chefs, you never want to say. Well, this is a good technique for you to learn. So that's nice, but this is what you really are going to look for. You want to make I, it rain. How do I know that? Because listen, you're going to have to learn how to cook by taste and touch. Okay. Okay? So I know that when I grab that, that that's mm -hmm. 28 grams. Okay. Because I've been cooking for a long time. Wow. So if a recipe calls for one tea tablespoon of salt, yes. can, I, can you open your hand? Mm -hmm. So you know that's what that, a lot, that, right? But you know what that feels like. Yeah. So half of that is what you would have used in that recipe, but I already put it in for you. Okay. So just so this way you know. <laughs> this way you know what it feels like. Okay. All right. I'm so not, put that on your board. To, oh, put it on my board. It's okay. okay. And then we got to do a little bit over the left shoulder because you know we can't oh, have anything. Is that like a good luck thing? We walk out of here today. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna put the lid on. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let me just. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stand clear. So what I'm gonna do? Do I need to cover this? Is it gonna come exploding out? Hit this button. It just pulls. That says off. Okay. Good. Do it again. Where should I put this? Yeah, put your hand up there. Keep going. My, well, how come I don't just on it? So you can on it, but okay. what I like to do is kind of pulse it so it, that it gets all the ingredients together. So oh. now you can put the on button okay. and just let it rip for a little while. All right. And have a sip of your gazos. This is fun. Sure beats chopping all this stuff. Absolutely. Okay. And we're going to stop this. And this is really quintessential when you're using this machine because the blade is on the bottom, mm -hmm. right? And it's only going in one direction. What we like to do when we use this is take the top off mm -hmm. and we like to go around, which I'm gonna do this time mm -hmm. and you'll do the next, and take what's the ingredients mm -hmm. that are on the bottom and kind of oh. flip them on their top. Because mm -hmm. we wanna make sure that when we're making this hummus that everything has the same consistency, okay? So I have to so, go pulse again. No, you're gonna put it on. Oh. And at this point, we're gonna stream in some of that water. All at once or? or just a little bit at a okay. time. This is. One cup of water. Mm -hmm. I actually think that we might use three quarters of a cup. Now this part is not a definite in a recipe. Mm -hmm. It depends how much you dried your chickpeas mm -hmm. and how much liquid is in there. Okay. So if you dump the whole quarter, the whole cup of water in there, it could be too liquidy. Okay. We want something that's going to hold its peak. Look good. Yeah. You see that? It's getting smoother, yeah. which I like. It. And smooth. now you can see if you step on my side, you see how this is really moving slowly. Yeah. That's why you have to stop. All right. So time to stop. And right. You're going to have it. an intervention. Right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Here you are. Okay, so now I'm just like kind of going around the sides. Let's yes. get everybody in there. Oh, okay, so okay. let's taste it. That's on point. Honey, that is delicious. Okay. Hummus. Perfect. So we're going to unclick it. Mm -hmm. Lift that up. Now, What's, how long can I keep this in my refrigerator? Three to four days. Okay. Okay. And, and the same thing, you're going to spoon it directly in the middle. Mm -hmm. I mean, this looks delish. And at Shuka and Shuket, we do the swoosh. And in the swoosh, we usually fill it with not, lots of nice things. So I do the spice first? Yep, let's do the All spice over first. just in my little... Whatever you like. Well, I think it looks kind of fancy when it's like... Is that good or is it that is too beautiful. heavy? It is, beautiful. No, 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 keep going. Okay. 
Mm. And you're going to fill that pool and all the little divots here. Oh, I love it. This looks like professional. I mean, you're killing it. Come on. I'm coming over when you're oh, making this. Seriously. How beautiful is that? Oh, my gosh. That? that is gorge. All right. So we have some pita chips here. We could have had some crudite. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, this is another one of those things. Why don't you take your little uh, celery stick? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You do a little dip. Exactly. And we'll make you like the little chef tasting. Oh, yes. Oh, that. I love that. And then we'll put that a little much, bit. That much, huh? Oh, yeah, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, why not? Look at this. I mean, we're going to do it. I mean, come to mama. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. What do you think? I mean, it's so good. Awesome. So good. All right. Oh, my gosh. If there is one thing I love at Shuka, Aisha, it's your salads. I love salad because it's it really represents the bounty of what is being grown. Fancy. We're kind of doing a pantry salad, if you will. Okay. So I found these things in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay. And we have some romaine mm -hmm. that I've just roughly chopped up here. Great. And what I'm going to do is show you how to cut uh, some of these tomatoes. Oh yeah. Okay. Not, not as that's not as strong as you. So mind. these are baby cherry tomatoes. So we're going to actually use a serrated knife for this. this nice. You're going to pinch the tomato a little bit, mm -hmm. and you're going to make it taut, so that when you go right through the serrated knife and come back around. That it splits in half. Okay, wow. Okay. So I'm so, so you're gonna pinch it. You feel it's tight. I do. Right. Put your knife and oh. go right through. Okay, great. Okay, we're gonna add it to here. Mm -hmm. And then here we have our uh, Persian cucumbers. Mm -hmm. I love to leave the skin on because they're so small. Oh, interesting. I, I always take the skin really? off. Really? Yeah, but that's just, I don't know. Well, they're super healthy. Yes. Um, the, the, the cucumber itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think it adds some color and texture. Yeah. So because that's pretty small, I'm going to cut it, cut this into quarters. Mm -hmm. Again, I cut it in half. Those little. Perfect. And then things. I would just cut them into half, ounce, half mm -hmm. inch little pieces. Now, now would that, you do that's, it like that or is that I a bad think idea? that's a little aggressive because again we want to be safe and we want to make it to the dinner table. <laughs> now I think so I'm just... doing a job. <laughs> so you want them cut side down because now they're not going to roll away from oh, you. Right, okay. right? And we're going to add these straight away to here. Okay. We're going to add some pine nuts. Okay. Do you like pine nuts? I do. I love pine nuts. I like pine nuts because they actually have really good uh, fat content mm -hmm. and they add like this luxurious feel when you bite into them. Okay. And then last but not least would be our feta. Okay. okay. Perfect. Yeah. So we have everything in the bowl here. Yes. And now let's talk dressing. Okay. My favorite go-to dressing is lemon juice, olive oil, honey, and salt. Okay. Can I ask your tossing technique? Sure. This is what I would do. I go from the bottom up. It's okay. the same thing like when you were marinating the chicken mm -hmm. from the bottom up. Okay. Let me and try I it. personally mm -hmm. don't like a lot of dressing. Yeah. So I would just like do a once around. That's what I just kind of figure people can add more if they so right. desire. How's that? Perfect. Good. Perfect. Okay. That's good. And then just. And then same thing, bottom up. Yum. Maybe I'll put a little more feta because yeah. those nice little chunks mm -hmm. are now nestled Yum. at okay. the bottom. This looks delicious. Yes. Oh. So if you just want to put that to the okay. side, mm -hmm. we have a few finishing touches before we eat. Okay. I thought we were done. What's this guy coming here for? Since you did such an amazing job and we've conquered your fears, we're going to bring him out again so that you could show him who's boss. The food processor? You know it. You and know this it. guy? Yes. Oh. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to break this down. Okay. Okay. So this is red cabbage. Yeah. So we're going to cut a little bit of the bottom off like that. Mm -hmm. and, then you, and then you just want to remove the outer leaves. Yes. See what I mean? You got it. You got it. There All you go. Right. I guess that's got to be a They'll little be, more aggressive. You could use a little force. Yeah. We're going to cut this in half. You're going to take your knife. You're going to put it in as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Right? In the beginning. Got it? Okay. Uh, yeah. Good, good. See, now I'm like okay. stuck. Hold and on. This guy's sticking right. out. Okay. So yeah. keep your hand flat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. put your hand flat. Mm -hmm. And now push all the way down. Whoa. It might take three or four saws, but just keep your hand flat. <laughs> Go ahead. Who's got it? Where's the chainsaw? Can I get okay, a saw on. it on the other side? Okay, let me help you for a second. Because what happened is that your knife is now in here, not the blade. Oh. So we're going to take that out, okay. okay? And then when you get to this point, you're going to take your knife, you're going to go straight down on this side, yeah. flip it, and straight down yeah, on the other side. Yeah, that's what I would want to do. Okay. I'd want to be like, choo choo, like this. You know the other thing that's, oh, ouch, darn it. What happened? I've never gotten through a segment without, no, it was just a little tap. Okay. Just a little tap. So wait, hold tap. on, hold, but let's do it together so you don't have a tapping problem again. Oh, okay, great. Hold on, hold on, put it down, put it down, put it down, put it down. Starting to see. We're going to go down here, okay? And then you got to be assertive. And go down here. Okay. Now right. what are we doing? Just cut it in half again so that I know that okay. you can do it. God. Okay, good. See, so you did it. Who'd think this would be the hardest part? Okay. So let's get the machine. You don't need all of that because we're going to okay. right. buzz it one, two, three. Okay. Okay. Do you want to get the Where's bottom? my friend. Okay. Here we go. Mm. There's Jeez. a friend. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Now this part is a little more complicated than the other one. Oh, now so I'm going to show you how to use these guys. All right. Okay. One is that you should always know that they're super sharp. 
okay? So you only want to touch the edges. <laughs> this part, you want to hold down. Mm -hmm. You see how that little piece goes down? Yes. And you are going to turn it just like this was, on an angle, and then slide it in. So on an angle and slide Can it I in. Can I try it? Of course. I don't know. Okay. There. Okay. All okay. right. That's it. Boy, I never knew that. Okay. So okay. it's locked in here, right? Yes. You heard it snap. Oh. We're going to put that in here. I want to put it together. Okay. I just spun it because you need the bottom to like, that's probably, you're okay. going to turn this on. Mm -hmm. Oh, already? Okay. Yep. Okay. So now it's spinning. So now you're going to take the cabbage. My heart is racing. And you're going to put pieces of it in. Okay. And then you're going to put that in there. There you go. Oh. Look at this. There you are. This is fun. Get in here. There you go. Get in here. Yeah, good. So we're going to shut the machine now. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. And we're going to wait for the blade to completely stop spinning. Yes. Right? And we're going to open this. Mm -hmm. And you see that in the inside? Mm -hmm. I mean, that looks incredible. Right? Okay, okay, now I get it. I so get it. We're going to take, processor. if you would, please, mm -hmm. take this out. Mm -hmm. okay. That okay? What's this for, anyway? This for the shawarma. We need a fresh crunch okay. front top, okay? Yes, we do. Okay, so we have that in here. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take the top out. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, let's go. All right. So this is gonna give you more of like a slice of okay. cabbage. Oh. I like this way better, personally, because mm -hmm. I like a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. As you can see in this bowl, it's kind of like confetti. I like that, actually. Perfect. We'll do one more little piece. Mm -hmm. And then I think we'll be ready what to go. What did we do in the olden days before food processors? Oh, actually, you have some tongs there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, just put a little. Yeah, on just each. put a little bit of yours on that half. Mm -hmm. oh. Come over to my way, the minced ca bit. cabbage way. There you Look go. at, isn't that friendly? Perfect. Okay. Yum. Okay. We have one more thing. The star of the show, the chicken shawarma. Oh my gosh! Hello. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. Oh, Look at this. Oh man. Smells delicious. Come to mama. Right. Take that okay. one. And I'll take yeah. this one. No, we never Come looked here. at it. Should I have been checking it? How do I know it's done? It's pretty foolproof, the recipe, when it comes to cooking. If you want, if you touch this piece right here, mm -hmm. see how it gives you, like, almost zero uh, resistance? Mm -hmm. That means that it's cooked. Mm -hmm. And same way you've been doing it. Just going to load just it up. right in the middle. Yeah. Mm. Wow, that looks good. All right, perfect. So let's get this. Mm -hmm. And can you grab the salad? Yes, ma'am. And we'll get to the table. I can't believe we did this. I mean, I can believe you did this. You, I can't no, believe I did you this. You nailed it. You have to stop telling people that you know how to cook. Look at this spread. <laughs> how do you... Eat your chicken shawarma. How do you prepare okay, it? Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I want to see. So I can't help but make a sandwich because mm -hmm. how could I not? So I'm gonna give you my okay, half. Yes. Okay. And then what I like to do is kind of mix some of these condiments. So oh. here we have harissa and zug, mm. and here's the white sauce we made. Okay. So of course we have to put some white sauce on here. Come to me for those white sauce. Okay. I'm just gonna spread it out. What's yeah. zug? I didn't know what that That's, is. That's that is. Here you go. And then you want to yeah. spread some of that in there. Mm -hmm. This is um, a, a cilantro, serrano, chilies, and cardamom. Mm. I want to get some of these onions some of and stuff in there, right? Yum. Okay. And then I love to eat with fresh herbs. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you some. Are you okay with minted cilantro? Do I just shove it in just there? Just shove it in there. Okay. And then, of course, we have to bring over our cabbage. Okay. Let me turn this around okay. so you could have your so half. I'll just do my And I'll have mine, yeah. We'll just kind of sprinkle it's it in there. the rip and dip, you know? I mean, it's beautiful. You know how to do that. And then I'm going to take this. Come, mm -hmm. Do you like spice? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a little baby drizzle. How about okay. that? There. Yum. And then we'll have to do just a little, just a little I on your was first bite. Ask, you know what so I mean? Thank you. Yes, I want a little more. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we cheers? Cheers. Thank you. To an so amazing much. job. Thank yes, you. I love it. All right. Let's, let's see. Mm. It's so good. It's so good. So good. Mmm. Delicious. I'm going in for more. Mmm. You ever put hummus in it? Of course. Mm. And that's the beauty of the sandwich. Like as you're eating, yeah. you kind of just like put a little bit more of something else on top. I know. Do you, don't mind me if I just lick my fingers here. It's supposed mm. to be messy. Drag the swirl. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mmm. For me, this is kind of fancy and fun food, but this is a classic family meal. Absolutely. The reason why I love like the Middle Eastern Mediterranean style of eating is because it's all of these little small plates, and you could really rip and dip and match, and no two flavors on this table don't go well together. There's something for everyone. Absolutely. Even my kids. <laughs> Even the kids. <laughs> Delicious. Thank you so much. Mom said don't talk with your mouth full. But sometimes you can't help it. Mm -mm.
I truly am. Thank you for showing me this. My pleasure. It was an honor to be cooking with you, and I'll do it anytime. You mastered all of the <laughs> food processor, your knife skills. I think you're going to nail it. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.